Are you ready? Yeah. Hi guys, I'm Rydell. Welcome back to my channel. This is my hunky, hunky man. Hi. Hi. I'm Kavrin. I love him so much. I'm hunky man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One sec. Okay, now I'm ready. All right, one sec. <laughs> Today we're gonna do a couples trivia for you guys. Woo -woo 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 -woo. Okay. Go to these questions. These are like questions I don't even know the answer to. Okay, we're gonna just start at the bottom. Start up from the bottom, now we hit. Start it from the bottom. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Maybe we should do a couple basic ones so they know us. Okay. How did we meet? <laughs> Some people don't know. My marker doesn't work. I also don't know how to spell this word. <laughs> Circa? Is that how you spell Circa it? Circa de Soleil. Wait, let me show you how I spelled it. No, you spelled it right. Cirque. Cirque de Soleil. It is. We're both right. We met at a Cirque du Soleil show. It's really cute. Yeah, no one knows that. Uh -uh. We went there for social media purposes. We, we got invited because I've done trampolines my whole life. So I'm like, I'm, I gotta go watch the show. I love it. And you went, why? I just got a random invite. And I was like, yeah, I like going to shows. And you just got back from tour, right? Mm-hmm. And you, you weren't gonna go, right? Where was I gonna go? That's crazy. And I went. And then I met him. Hi. And now we're here. How long have we been dating? Hmm. Dating. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm counting too. It doesn't be exact, just a rough draft. Wait, I don't know if this is right anymore. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Seven dating. Months. Dating. We started dating. We met in April. We met and then we were dating. Boyfriend and girlfriend, I thought. That dating dating is like going on dates. Oh. So about six or seven months then. Okay. That's just the basic questions for you guys. Now let's just do random stuff. Yeah. I'm going to keep sharing a pen with you because this one that's broken. You go first. What emoji do I use most when I'm texting you? You have to draw it. Okay. I already know mine. I'm not a very good drawer. That's okay. Alright, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> it's the butterfly. Don't you think I use the butterfly the most? Yeah, I use this one a lot too. No, I use the butterfly. I thought it was this. Because you give me butterflies. I, I do give you butterflies. You give me butterflies. <laughs> but let's be real. You use heart eyes a lot. I do the hearts cool. on me as well. You do the hearts on you and you do the kissy face. Mm hmm. Am I right <laughs> or wrong? I think you're wrong. I'm gonna go look at our text real quick. <laughs> one butterfly I've seen so far. Heart, hearts around the face is the most popular one. You were wrong yourself. <laughs> she used hearts around her face. Okay. 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 Oh, what emoji do you use the most? Oh, we just went through all my emojis. <laughs> I don't know how to draw this face. It looks pretty close. You did the same one. Yeah. It's, it's like the... It's the Oh my that god, face. it's so nice. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the puppy dog eyes face. Mm -hmm. Good job. What's the most romantic thing Capron has done for me? I have to pick which one. Which one do you think I'm gonna pick? There's a lot. That's hard. A lot. That's a lot. He's romantic all the time. I know, because you're constantly supposed to be loving. Oh. I love you. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with the thing I can only think of. How, what are you writing? She's writing a whole paragraph. Three, two, one. What is that? Floating hearts. Oh, that was cute. Oh, the, the hot air balloon surprise? Surprise hot air balloon. But what about the floating heart? Floating heart one took me five hours to do. <laughs> I put this because I had mentioned it in passing and then like two weeks later, he wakes me up at 3 a.m. and is like, okay, it's time to wake up. You and gotta I'm go. Like, what? So fun. And then all of a sudden you show up and I went on my first hot air balloon ride. It was okay. It was romantic. I'll, I'll give you that one. I like the floating hearts too though. I don't want the floating hearts are. Rydell was gone for a while, so I went to Michael's and I like got all these like different colors of pink and I got like a stamp that makes perfect paper hearts and then added strings to them and taped them to the, to the rooftop and I added like things I love and memories and where I want to be in the future and the things I want and... They are color coded. And color coded, yes, color coded, organized. So that led up to her bedroom and then it was just cute and fun. Yeah, there were hearts all over my house. Okay. What was I wearing on our first date? I'm not gonna get this right. Hey, you are. You're good at that. <sighs> I don't remember. That's okay, honey. <laughs> I don't remember what you were wearing. <laughs> that makes you feel bad. I know what I was wearing. I remember the picture. Oh, I know I, what you were wearing. That I saved. Oh, I know what you were wearing. 
Okay, but what was I wearing? I always forget you're a lefty. It's so cute. Mm. <laughs> what was it saying? White shirt and jeans. That was close, honey. Black yeah. jeans. Band tee. It, it was band a white tea. shirt. It was a white band tee. It was a, okay. I remember it was jeans, but I don't remember if it was actually like... Good job! I don't remember those details too much. I remember the like, like the details of the uh, like we're walking on the beach and we got kicked off. Oh yeah, that was good. Yeah, and then the roller coaster picture and I bought the picture even though it was like super expensive. I really like that. <laughs> so funny. I was so happy you did that. I wish I had my beard. I just look like a young man now. Who takes longer in the bathroom? Me. We don't even need to write that down. That's not. That's dumb. No, yeah, she okay. takes so long. How did you ask me to be your girlfriend? Uh, I'm blanking. What? I'm blanking, one second. Are you serious? No, yeah, I am, yeah, one second. <laughs> Wait, why did that surprise you? Because this is a big moment. It was a big moment. I, I, Cause you didn't just do the like... First thing that came to my mind was just me saying I love you the first time. Yeah, it was right before that. Oh yeah, now I remember. <laughs> wow, how did I not, how did I not remember that? That's, I don't know. I, I told you I blanked, I was letting you know I was blanking. It's okay. Uh, it was a plan, a long, long devised plan that took about three weeks. She was doing her first show in our local area, uh, in LA, at the, uh, what's that? What's Fonda. That? The Fonda, the Fonda mm -hmm. Theater. So she kept inviting me and was like, hey, you should come to the show. I'm like, I don't know, your ex-boyfriend's there and it's kind of weird and I don't want to like, I don't want to mess up like the, the, the vibe for the band and I don't want to like. He kept saying like he, could, he didn't know if he could make it and like he might have to work. I might have to work because I work like, a lot. Go on at like 10. I'm like, you're going to be done working by then. And yeah. We're like going back and forth. It's all BS. So I set it up for like, like three weeks. Like I kept saying like, I don't know if I can go. I don't know if I can go. Then it finally comes up. And I said I'm gonna go, and I canceled last second, saying I'm not going. And I know that she's like, she's like, what the hell's happening? And she's getting fishy feelings because I got texted from someone else saying, "Hey, Rydell's worried. Uh, hope everything's okay." Really? Yeah. Who did that? I think it was. It might have been Vanny. Oh no, Shannon did. Shannon, Shannon was did. Like, Rydell, but Shannon knew. Shannon. My, so, he told my friend Shannon. I did. So she knew, and she was like, "Yo, like you better like make up some better excuses because Rydell's on to you." Like she's. She didn't. What, I she's know. Questioning. I wasn't on to you, but I was just like, "What the heck?" She's questioning who I was as a person and why she's with me. So everything gets set up and I show up to the Fonda Theater without her knowing. I told her that I can't come. And I have a, a huge sign I prepared that says, Rydell, will you be my girlfriend? And I had four of my friends, three of my friends with me to help hold the signs. Mm -hmm. And it was during it. our like last song. So the whole show I'm thinking he's not there. And then in the last song I'm like playing keyboards. <laughs> and I see the sign and I was like, no way. Yeah. And then he ran off stage. And I jumped on him and I gave him a bird because... And that was so fun. And then that night we were driving home. Oh, that's right. And we were on the freeway. He's driving. He's like, I love you. Like top, <laughs> like as loud as I could say it pretty much. And I was like, what? And mind you, I've already loved him for like weeks before that, but I didn't say anything yet because I was waiting for him to say first. I said it well, I slipped in Target when we were buying your blankie to stay at my house. Remember I slipped, I said I love you on accident. You heard it, right? Huh? Oh. I slipped, it was like two weeks earlier. We were in Target, I was like, I love you. <laughs> and we were like, I was getting her blankie for how, for my house when she sleeps over. <laughs> it was cute. Okay, but yeah, the moral of the story is I put up signs during her concert and yeah. asked her to be my girlfriend with signs. I don't yeah. know why I blanked. It was cute. That's funny. Hmm. Okay, I love you. I love you. Okay. What else? Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Okay. I'm playing a new video game. What do I name my character in the video game I'm playing? Red L. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was, that was just fun to say. What's my favorite song you've created? Love Me Like That. <laughs> <laughs> I jammed it all the time. Oh my god. Alright, what else? He found it and I was like, no. And then he plays it all the freaking time. I'll be playing games and it'll start. Yeah. I love the way you love it. <laughs> so fun. How many kids do I want when I met you? None. How many kids do I want now? As many as I want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He's a keeper, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Where's my favorite place to be kissed? <laughs> um, I know you like to be held by the cheek. Mm -hmm. I know you like getting kissed on the lips. Yeah. I know you like getting kissed on the forehead. Yeah. Forehead. Okay. And this. And Lips and then forehead and then neck. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> My <Yeah>. head. <laughs> this area, everywhere. Right, yeah. yeah. 
When did you first fall in love with me? On our second date. Why? We met halfway because we lived two hours away from each other. So we met halfway for our second date. First date, he had to pick me up. I was like, I'm not meeting you halfway. Crazy. I didn't say that. I know he didn't. I'm telling you. I'm okay, telling you okay. context. Okay, okay. Um, no, he was. He picked me up. And um, so second date, we met halfway. And went to dinner. And oh, that's cute. <laughs> and then we, uh, he had to charge his car because he has a Tesla. And so we went and parked his car. We just sat in the car and talked for like three hours. Long time. Yeah. And that's it. Like we were going to maybe go to a movie or an escape room or something, but we ended up just talking about everything. I don't know. That second date, I could have just, I could have said it. You should have said it. That would have been so awesome. I didn't want to scare you throw, away. Throw me off. It would have been so You've been like, um, I, Keeper. I gotta Keeper. Throw. Oh, oh, this is a funny story. Who did you meet on our first date? Oh, your dad. No, that was the first time when we met. My dad was with me, so he had already met my dad. Our first date. Who did you meet? Oh, I met your whole family. Mm-hmm. Our date was in the afternoon, and then I already had plans that night. Oh yeah, we went to the sushi place. And he was like, "Oh, he was like, that sounds fun." And I was like, "Oh, you want to come with me?" And he was like, "Okay." And then uh, I was like, "Well, it involves dinner with all my brothers." And he was like, let's do it. So we went on our first date and then literally right after our first date, met all my brothers and my sister-in-law. <clears throat> it was actually perfect. Yeah. So I was like, here they are. This is the, my Stay life. Stay over with. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not gonna it's postpone. Fun. I thought of, I thought of something. What? What's the first thing you ever texted me? Oh, let's elope. Yeah. <laughs> so let's elope. That was the first text I ever got from Cape and Funk. But what was from the, what did I say on Instagram though? It was Instagram to We started text. DMing, yeah, and then we went. I that. DM'd her. Mm-hmm. Because I knew she wanted me to DM her. That's why I DM'd you. <laughs> so it was can... my first DM from a guy. Shut the f bull. That's You've true. been DM'd by many men. Let's be like honest. old creepy guys, that's it. Or like 10 year olds. <laughs> They're like, what's up girl? <laughs> or like just recently. That was funny. Yeah, that was like the first time a guy DM'd me that I was like, ooh, hmm, I like this guy. <laughs> You're funny. After our second hang, not date. Oh, where um, came over to your house? He, you no, know, you called me. Oh, You that. called me on my way home when I left his house. <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> this is cute. He was like, um, just want to let you know this is just this is where I'm at like I'm, I'm pledging my exclusivity to you I just want to let you know that's where I'm at. I just let you know like hey, I'm not dating other people And yeah. what did your mom say in response to that? She was like no She wanted me to date more like around because I've never really dated around before And I was like, I don't know. I gotta like this one Some stuff the arm Thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned some awesome facts about us. We were gonna do a, a spinny wheel thingy, but I figured story time was a little more fun, so you guys got to know some cute little details. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm doing tongue tricks, those are fun. You can do tongue tricks? Yeah. Show me. Okay, one. You can do that one? Oh, that's cool. Can you do the flop? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Me neither. <gasps> You can touch your nose? I didn't know you could lick your nose. Yeah, I'm good with my tongue. Oh, you have a very small tongue. So you're trying to like this. Wow, you have a short tongue. <laughs> I didn't realize that, wow. I, I learn something new every day. I was just gonna say that. <laughs>